Hey, it's Chad Ashley. I'm Chad. I'm Noelle. This is Gwendolyn. And today we're going to do another laid back vlog. Could be a little serious. We're going to talk about our New Year's resolutions, but we're going to do it in a laid back way. I have no idea. I see the ice cream truck. But you forgot somebody. Hold on, I know, but they got to look at the ice cream truck. See if they can see it from here. If you can't see the ice cream truck, at least look at this beautiful park that we're in. Oh, they're doing gender reveal. Any thoughts yet? Yeah, what's your guess? <laughs> what's Any your guesses? guess? Boy or girl? <laughs> That's not I know what it is. Oh, you know, okay. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Don't tell us. Yeah, don't tell us. <laughs> oh, I am so sorry. I forgot. I forgot mango Pop-Tart. Well, it's Pop-Tart for short, though. Pop-Tart for short. But it's I call it flavor. her, her, him, her, it, they, she, him, shim. What? I don't know. What do you, what do you say? The baby. The baby? Pop tart. But I want to have a pronoun for the baby. Bay. Bay. I call bay. <laughs> Mango pop tart. out of their way we thought you know we maybe the gender reveal this is not as important as a gender reveal however we are going to talk about a couple of things today so i'm going to lead you through what we're going to talk about we're going to talk about what our new year's resolutions new year's goals are we're going to talk about how to achieve those goals how we plan to achieve them and we're going to talk about why they're difficult to achieve as they should be and we're going to talk about the secondary benefits of trying to achieve these goals uh oh Oh goodness, we lost Gwendolyn. What are we gonna do? Where uh -oh. is she? Where did Gwendolyn, Gwendolyn go? go? Where is she? I don't see oh, her. Oh, is she over here? Oh, did she oh, go there all the way back she here? Is. Daddy, I found her. Oh, there she is. What's one of your goals, Mama? And I don't know how to measure this, but I'd like I'd like to start doing prenatal yoga and try to have be healthier by the time the baby comes. But you mentioned something important. And that was the how to measure it. And that's one of the ways that you we were working on achieving our goals is having goals that are objectifiable and measurable. For example, Noel, you can measure it by saying like, hey, I want to do prenatal yoga twice a week. Yeah. And, and that's one way, you know, say I want to do it for 15 minutes twice a week. Right. And say like, okay, I did it for 15 minutes last week and this week I'll do it for 20 minutes twice a week or, or whatever it is. Right. And, and then you get that sense of accomplishment as you grow and grow. That's a good, that's a good point. And I think one of my goals is to, you say, get to 1,000 subscribers. And it's like, okay, first of all, I have no control over who subscribes to this channel unless all, all of y'all that are already subscribed make a bunch of fake accounts <laughs> and watch my video 10 times each. <laughs> Don't do that. Don't do that. No, Don't do that. That's fake. That's not, that's not authentic. Fair enough. Okay, they can't do that. But what? Do but, that. My, but, but what I'm saying is I have no control over it. What I do have control over is putting out a video each week. That's something I can do, right? Which is one of my goals when I put out a video each week. I can work on improving the quality of my video. And quality is hard to objectify because one man's trash is another man's treasure. But I know I can work toward these skills every week and I can say, hey... <laughs> I'm going to wake up each morning and I'm going to plan out a video and I'm going to think about what I'm going to do. <laughs> Even though you're not going to reach your overall goal, you're going to get to a point, you're going to have something to look forward to each week and that's going to keep you going and going. Right. And for me, a lot of anything that's pregnancy related, obviously that'll change sometime after the baby. In May. <laughs> yeah, sometime in May. And then like, I'll have to kind of come up with new goals. As, but I'd like, even after having the baby, I'd like to this go around, continue doing, being more active after the baby's born as well. And another one of, another one of my goals is, and I'm going to put it's three in one. I wanted to do this by my birthday in April. I've been working toward this, but I want to squat 400 pounds. I want to deadlift 500 pounds. I want to bench press 300 pounds. That's pretty strong. Most people at 40 I cannot. Can't, I can't do that. Cannot deadlift 500 pounds or squat 400 pounds and it's not bragging weight either but how can I do that I can go to the gym three four times a week I can track 
what I'm going to, my weights and what I'm lifting, I can eat healthier. And each time I eat healthier and I'm feeling better about myself, it's a reward. It's that, because really what you want is you want something that gives you that immediate satisfaction on a daily and weekly basis. It's not about achieving your goal tomorrow. Right. It's, where it's, it's creating those small steps to get to the big steps, is the big just, goal. Is it too sunny here for you? Do you want to move somewhere? I just, she's so being so good. I hate Do you have any fears about like achieving your goals? I have fears all the time. Yeah, um, no, I do about to achieve my goals, sure. Um, I worry that I'm gonna be too sick for, um, to do what I need to do. It's even outside of pregnancy, that's right. something that we do. We, we never know what's gonna come up. And, and I just think for me, it's, I, I think I'm afraid, I'm not setting these goals because I think they're minor things that I'm like, oh, you know, like I'm gonna go get a new pair of shoes. If I don't get a new pair of shoes, I go to the store and I just go buy a new pair of shoes. I'm setting goals that I don't know if I'm going to be able to achieve them or not, but they're going to push me to higher limits. And that's kind of what I think New Year's resolutions are about. Right. You, you have to set something that is important to you that you're afraid may not come true. And I think you're right. You've always dealt with illnesses. And I, I know we've talked about your kidney transplant in the past, but it's always in the back of your mind. So one thing that I've noticed is the more important something is to you, the more you really want to make sure that it happens. And then that like, that drive can also cause more stress because it's like, man, I gotta get that done. I have to do that. And I think that's something that a lot of times keeps me from wanting to even make a goal because I'm just like, oh man, I don't wanna put that on myself. But I think if anything, that should be what drives us to create goals, you know, because we wanna do, we wanna become better. We wanna like your why, like the why you're doing something should be what pushes you more so than the fear of the stress that may come by trying to achieve it. I think that's an excellent thought. You know, it reminds me, right? So I'm taking the bar exam. I've spent three oh, years. Oh my goodness, let me feel the baby. Let me feel the baby. Put Everybody put your hand on her belly. <laughs> feel the baby. Oh. Put your hand up on the screen. I get to my first essay question. Honestly, it threw everybody for a curveball. It threw me for a curveball and I was freaking out. It's like, oh my gosh. And I said to myself, you know, I said, you know what, why am I here? What is this about? Like, just like you said, what is my why? And I took a deep breath and I remembered, you know, the why. So I think one of the scary things to think about, like in the older I get, the more and more you realize, like putting these goals out into the world and telling people like, this is the important thing to me. Because like I said, these aren't New Year's resolutions that are easy to achieve, they're important to us. That's why we made them our resolutions or our New Year's goals, so to say. Right. And I think it's like people know if they want to attack you, they know right where to attack you. Well, if you create a vulnerability, a public vulnerability, it it, is in a sense. And even without saying it, they know your fears. They know the fear of, okay, well, you want to do prenatal yoga and you've already, you know, you've already said some fears. Like you don't even know how to measure it, you know? And I'm not saying that to be against you. What did you find? Want to show everybody your show acorn? Them. Let's go show them your acorn. Show everybody your acorn. Show them your acorn. Hold it up. Hold up your acorn. Yeah. Wow, you that was a pretty acorn. cool find. Yeah. Gary. Watch your head by the bush. I will. Oh, that was the blue poppy. <laughs> I'm like, someone just get shot? <laughs> And then I remember they're having a ginger vermil <laughs> over there, and it was a blue pop. So yeah. I'm like, oh my gosh, what are we gonna do? Get my child, let's go this way, <laughs> Noah. I was like, whoa, let's see what's happening. <laughs> Video over. So I think sometimes when our priorities and our goals don't line up, where's your water? Yeah, where's your water cup? Right here, look. You can go this way, you it's the sidewalk. Right <laughs> yeah. You can go right on through. I don't know where. It'll make it better. Okay, what were you saying? To, well, to I think this right here all points to it. You know, your goals and your priorities don't always line up. You know, our goal is to make this video, but my priority is Gwendolyn. So I'm going to stop making this video in order to help Gwendolyn when need be. And I know we can edit yeah. these things, but I think that's a perfect example. And so that becomes a difficulty because you've got to balance. you got to figure out how to balance and how do we work the two together. Exactly. And I think that comes to our last point of the day when you're trying to achieve these goals that are important to you, they're going to drive you to get everything in balance. They're going to drive you to improve the other areas of your life. So it's like, if you set your priorities, like, and I've said this before, the beginning of last year, 
of Gwendolyn and you, you're my priority. These videos are like third or fourth on the list. But if I want to make that goal of getting to a thousand subscribers and making a video each week, I've got to make certain that I'm doing right by you first. Because I can't come out here or go other places and do stuff and make videos if in the back of my mind I'm like, I'm letting my priority of, you know, the ones I love down. Yeah, I mean, you're absolutely right. And so that's why you gotta... Are you wearing it's... that hat before? <laughs> <laughs> you weren't wearing that hat before, were you? No, Gwendolyn gave it to me to wear. And when I took it off, she got upset. And it actually helps with the sun. So in a way, it's like I'm making certain that everything is in place with being a father and being a husband. Oh, so in, in, every, in, in a way, I'm making certain that you're taken care of and in, in my duties as a father and duties as a husband are improving because, I'm sorry, I just one thing to reveal about me is I'm, I'm pretty emotional and, mm -hmm. and I, when I make these videos, I let my emotions like control me quite a bit. And if I'm not being a good husband and a good father and I'm feeling guilty, I can't make a good video. But you know what I mean, Noel? Oh, I do. And, I think you're right. And, and, mm -hmm. and it's like, I know like you want to do the, the yoga thing, but it's like if she's scream like you, you got to feed her first though you know what i mean yeah yeah like you got to so, schedule and block off your time so in a way having these overall arching goals will help you improve other areas of your life yes unless your goal is to be my goal is to be a good father that's an easy like like i'm not trying measurable to, having a having me measurable goals yeah like not i don't want to i don't want to just say i you know me say i just feel like if i say oh my goal this year is to be a good father and a good husband that's like a cop out you know what i mean you know with any goal you you need it to be measurable so that you can actually make sure you're making progress so you're actually doing something so there's actually a change occurring um, otherwise vague statements one they don't push you and then two like you have nothing to know like well did i actually do it did i actually make did i did i make a difference did i actually accomplish anything what are your goals yeah. And, what are your goals? And leave leave them down below. Yeah. Tell us what they are. And while you're leaving them down below, feel free to subscribe to the channel Please. and leave that thumbs up button. I'm waiting for the wind to stop blowing. Actually, the wind's great. You know, you got to learn to enjoy. Right, Noel? It's beautiful. It's, it's beautiful. Today, it feels good. It's made today really, really it, nice. It, it really has. And as much as I like making these videos for you, I, I also like um, the feel of the wind on my face. Anyways, I just want to say... Thank you. Can I have some? Exactly. Thank you. Thank you for watching the video. Thank you for taking your time. Um, what is this like? Oh, she gave me some hand sanitizer. Oh, I thought you were like, yeah, we got them now. No, she gave me hand sanitizer. Thank you, Gwendolyn. Anyways, Close it, um, please. Like, comment, subscribe. You know what to do. Um, and y'all have an amazing day. And good luck with your goals this year.